Hello and welcome to the Smith Bearing Training and Educational Series. This is our episode two. Today we're going to talk about Smith tracks and the different sizes we make and the different series we make. We're going to get into a little bit about the rail that we manufacture that the Smith tracks roll on. First one we're going to talk about is our plane, meaning plane as in as a plane outer race doesn't have a flange on it like you see on this one or it doesn't have a v-groove like on this one so that's one of the series is and as you also can see we do a v-groove that rides on a high profile rail and then we do a flange bearing that also rides on this type of rail so you're looking at something like this right like this then we also do a U-groove series as well too. And I don't know if you can see that very well, but you can see there's actually a U in that. These are generally used on rails that are rounded. Um, this application here is actually used in the canning industry as well. And then we also do our double flange bearing, as you can see right here. And this acts sort of like a train car wheel. We highly recommend that you use sh proper shafting on yoke roller bearings. Please don't go buy a standard grade A bolt. Okay, these, these shafts allow you to lubricate the bearing still. Um, we do an eccentric bushing style shaft as well that I'm going to get into further down the road on some other videos that we're going to do. But we recommend that you use a bearing quality product when you're buying a bearing. So along with our rail product, we offer four profiles of rail. We have a plane side mount. We have a V-groove side mount. We have what we call our home plate, which is a bottom mount V-groove. And then we have our plane, just like this surface, but it's a bottom mount as well. And what I'm talking about here is, you can see when I talk about a side mount, this is how it would look in the apparatus. So this lip would ride on the rail and then we would either put hold, a bolt hole here for our customer or they can do it and then they can drill it into the place that they want it. Same as the plane as well too, same thing. And, the, and this material here allows you to bolt the product down. Now I talked about undermount, same thing here. So instead of having bolt hole pattern on the side here, we're actually gonna do an under bolt pattern here, and then it's gonna sit on top of this like that. And then, now brand new, we're doing a, a plain under mount as well too. Um, bottom mount, excuse me. We're doing a plain bottom mount. The same thing, you would drill and tap here and mount it on the surface. Um, once again, as I've talked previously, we talked about the shafting, how we really promote you using a quality shaft inside the bores of yoke rollers. We also recommend that you use a proper rail for the bearings to roll on. Thank you so much for tuning in. Join us next time for more Smith Bearing Info.